Welcome back to Sussex Farms for episode 13 on PS4 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Right, the cows are sorted, some TMR's been made, I've got a bit in storage, not a huge amount. Don't know why I went that way. Uh, how much have we got? 117,000, no not 117,000, 138,000 litres of total mix ration. Um, I've got 117,000 litres of water. What I am going to do now, I'm going to grab the truck truck again. I'm going to go and get some lime. We are going to need lime. That's a good point actually. Where do I store that? Is that in the main bunker or is that in the side ones? I think it might be the side ones. I'm going to go and get a full load. So I do need to lime a couple of bits. I can't... Uh, technically... I can't lime fields that are growing because obviously um, as you spread lime onto the actual flowering plants or plants themselves so you just uh, kill everything off. It just burns it all, doesn't it? Lime, I'm pretty sure it does that. I can put it on the field there. I mean, technically I've seeded already. I shouldn't. The lime should have been done already. Um, but I do need to get some lime down if I'm going to get the best yield I possibly can at the moment on some of my fields. I meant to say actually the reason why I've uh, my sheep, I've had a few people comment saying they've got they're on the same map, same amount of sheep, they're not getting any wool. I'm in spring because I I got them early. They will always produce wool around springtime because it's kind of it's when they get sheared and that, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so if you've bought them at a different time of, time of year, I know when I did my sheep video, it just happened that I bought them at the end of spring, I think late spring. So by the time I got to a point where they could have been producing wool, they'd gone past that point and I had to go almost around another year. So I think that was possibly then a bit misleading, I think. Um, but anyway, that being said, let's get some lime. So, turn that on. <coughs> right, well that's working. I just want to reassure everybody, I am a console gamer. <laughs> I play on PS4, I will be playing on PS4, I will be recording on PS4, and still putting out my PS4 content. My channel is not changing. I'm not becoming a PC channel. Um, the video I put up yesterday was a test video. It was to test out my PC, to test out editing, to test out the process of editing. I just happened to do it on a PC Mac. Um, a kind of, as well as a test of all those things, it was a, if anything, a consumer test. I mean, you know, you're never quite sure as a content creator how what you're doing is going to go down, how it's going to be received, what, what people are going to think of, of it. You know. um, so people let me know what they thought and what they felt and that's fair enough. You know, At the end of the day that was the point. Test it, see what people think and go from there. You know. So uh, yeah. Will I do anything on PC again? Maybe in the future. I might do the odd thing here and there. I'm not doing entire Let's Plays. I'm not doing anything like that. Um, I'm under no illusions. At the end of the day, you know, I, I've built my channel up to where I am. Um, from console gamers. I have PC gamers that watch me. I am a console gamer. I've always been a console gamer. That's not going to change. I know it sounds cheesy, you know, it sounds a bit daft. I love my PS4. I love playing on PS4. Um, the investment in my PC was an investment in the channel, an investment in where I go from here. It was not an investment in me becoming a PC channel. That was not the point. Um, so I just thought I'd you know, throw it out there just to reassure everyone it's not, my channel's not changing. <laughs> so I'm going to try and find out where I can put this. <laughs> there must be somewhere I can put it on the farm. Uh, and then what I need to do, because I bought the horse... Um, 
fertilizer spreader that is one of the only ones one of the few actually that doesn't do lime as well so i'm going to need to buy a separate lime spreader which i suppose when you look at it like that it's kind of a false economy i'll have two pieces of machinery that one to, to do two separate jobs which technically one piece of machinery could do i'm sure it's in here i can put it there we go Oh, cover. Whoops. So, I think I'm just going to go with... Um, I, I did think about just trying... You know, about trying out different bits of equipment. And to be fair, I've used the Braydell, the K105, the K165 before. Um, I've used the... Was it the Brantner? The new Brantner one. I do like the Brantner. It's not too expensive and it, you know... It does the job. Um... As far as options go for other versions, there are a few different ones knocking about, but I think I might just go with the Brantner again. It's, cheap, it's cheaper than buying the Braid out, although the, it's actually the capacity is not as big, but that's not too much of a problem. Um, so yeah, I do need to do a bit of liming. That's going to be my next, my next thing. I will grab my Lamborghini. Actually, that's a good point. I'll have a look and see. Of uh, seeing as we are Miss P's farming services, what options do we have for other people? Oh, fertilizing job there for 11 grand. Well, that might be a bad one. So I just jump on that very quickly. It's 11 grand in, in the coffers, isn't it? As I'm not, you know, so I'm, I haven't replenished the uh, greenhouses. Um, you know, nothing wrong with a bit of honest hard work is there uh, there's a couple of transport jobs there airport one airport to the guest house 15 grand that's probably luggage from one of the airplanes something like that um, but I think what I'm going to do let's accept this we'll accept the contracts because I've got uh, I was going to use use this not use this I was going to go and get a new one but what we'll do which I wonder Could you get away with using this Garaflex and then it not actually cost you any money? You know what? Let's put this to the test. Uh, where are we going? Field 16. I don't know why I came back off that again. I do it every single time. Field 16, where are we? Okay, just over there. Uh, it's a fair size field, but... You know what? I'm going to try the Scaraflex. If it doesn't work, I'll come back and get the thing. While actually, while we're up at the store, what we can do is um, we'll grab our new lime spreader and then we can come down and do lime. This field here, field 8, needs lime, but like I say, I can't put lime over the top of the thing. Kind of realistically. I don't know if in game it will probably let me because I could just drive over and spread the lime and it will just remove the lime state, but I shouldn't do it over the top of crops. Whereas my field 6, I can. Field 5 is a proper field, it is a grass field. Um, it was mentioned the reason why maybe I couldn't fertilise it was because it was a kind of outer edge field, tech, like the grass texture rather than actually a field, but it is actually a field, it is a proper It is a proper field, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. So, let's go over to field 16. It's got to be worth a try. You have an idea. Could be a nice cheap way to bit of make a bit of money that way I've got you I mean it's gonna take you a little bit longer obviously I can use the fertilizer spreader out at 24 30 actually yeah the horse one's a lot wider isn't it but then I've got to pay for fertilizer but like I said this is just a test I'll just have a look and see if this works right like I said I'm gonna stop at the store first we'll grab one of the branders I think it's the brand Have a quick old a bit of a check. We are on fertilizer technology. The Braidel K105 
We'll do a 12 meter, 14,000 liters, 39 grand. That one's 24,500. 24 meter spread, 8,000 liter capacity. But I have found even on the bigger fields, you, you don't tend to, you're not going to use that much. Um, that will do lime and fertilizer, whereas the horse will only do fertilizer. But the reason I got that was because it was a 36 meter spread and I haven't used it in ages, so I thought, let's give it a bit of a whirl. Yeah, it's still cheap again. Bruns, not Brantner. Why did I say Brantner? The Bruns. Trelleborg or Michelin's? Oh. Let's stick with the Trelleborgs, I think. And we will buy that. <laughs> I've just realised. Oh no, of course, I don't need it for this, do I? I'm thinking, oh, I've got to go all the way back and get lime. I'm going to have to go back and get lime anyway. Right, so that works. I know it does. I'm using one of those on Geiselsberg at the moment anyway. Um, there are other alternatives. There are a few different ones in the Mods Hub as well. That you can be having a bit of a look at. But let's get down to... It's ten past two. Are we losing light already? It seems very hazy today. Plays havoc with the old photography here. It's quite a tricky one, isn't it? Anyway. Let's go. I did mention before, this has been smoothed out somewhat. The incline is not anywhere near as steep down here as it used to be. Jim did a lot of work on that to get that right. So... Whoa. We'll give it a go. I'd say it's worth a try. If we turn it on and drop it down, it gives a fertilizing state, so I don't know whether or not we'll get away with it, but it's worth a try at the end of the day. Let's have a look and see what it says for the contract. 1% progress, it seems to be working. Let's check the map. Yep. It is given a fertilizing state. Nice, okay. And for all intents and purposes, it's costing me nothing. But it is going to take a while. But that said, a fertilizing contract like this can run in the background. I can get a worker off doing that, and I haven't got to worry. It's always going to charge me now is worker fees. So, what I'll do... Let's move around. I'm on narrow, so I shouldn't be doing any damage to the crop. I mean, for all intents and purposes, it's weeding, but fertilising at the same time, so... Well, it gives the fertilising state. That's the clever thing. It says fertiliser down the bottom right, and that's just so it can give you fertilising state. But it's not actually using any of that fertiliser. It's only got one litre in it. Um, right, sorry, worker. And off we go. Right, so that can crack on. Get on with doing that. Um, all we'll do is wait until it gets to the point where it says it's done. We'll see how far complete we are. And like I say, this isn't costing me anything. So I haven't had to put any fertiliser in for doing this. Now I'm just wondering as well, with a larger tractor, if I used one of the John Deere seeders, um, where you can extend the bars out of the side, if I attach two of these onto one of those, I could do jobs like this far quicker. That said, for another one of these, it'd be another 50 odd grand, so it's an expensive setup. Um, but then each time I'm doing this, it's not costing me anything in fertiliser, so. Yeah. There are pros and cons to both, I suppose. Okay, um, right, but there's no, I mean, as far as farm work goes, I'm trying to work out what to do now. Um, keep checking on the cows, but they seem to be alright. The sheep is producing their wool. Um, we may get to a point where we're going to have to kind of skip ahead in, into the next kind of, you know, a month on, get to late spring, and maybe there'll be something else we can do, maybe a bit more. It's going to be like more fertilising and odds and ends and jobs like that. What I might find with running seasons is I'm going to have to jump ahead a bit more each time, you know, do a little, you know, maybe a couple of jumps ahead, a couple of months on, 
Um, because it's, I don't know. I, I could spend all day, every day, just doing water runs and fuel runs, and I, you know, I could see you in two months and be sitting on four or five million. But I want to do the farming. That was, you know, I did the stuff in the first place with the greenhouses because I wanted them. I needed to be able to buy equipment. I needed some spring equipment. Otherwise, I couldn't do anything. I suppose I could have leased a few bits here and there, but did need to get some equipment. Right, what I'm going to do is go and grab the class, I think. Uh, we'll go and grab the lime spreader and let's get that liming done because I need to do that. Um, and then... Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe when this is done... Trip up to the airport maybe for a transport job? I don't know. We've got to find work. Actually, what I thought I could do... Let's see, I can I pull over just... Yeah, as long as I don't just go off the side of the cliff. Let's just stop there a second. Let's see how the workers get them. That's a big field. <laughs> it is going to take a while. I'll be honest. Um, like I say, it was a kind of proof of concept. I, you know, there's no reason why that wouldn't work. It works on your own fields to give you a fertilising state. I did it to great effect on Geiselsberg for the uh, the organic vegan contracts I had to do. Um, like I say, it just it'll take a little while, won't it? Yeah, maybe long term. We'll have a look. Actually, let's have a look in the store now. Um, it was under it's under weeders, isn't it? Have I lost it. Oh, there we go. God dear, can't even see. Uh, so what we're looking at seven point five meters. So that puts out that's that'd be fifteen meters. That's actually not too bad. Seven point five. I'm just thinking like I'm just trying to run through this in my head. Potentially, it could work. Like I say, if I got one of the John Deere cedars, one of those. And then the two booms on the back swing them out. Would I be able to fit two of those cultivators next to each other? Maybe. I might have to test that. There might be something to do on my test map, maybe. And then give it a go and see if that works. It's got to be worth a try, because if you can... could save a bit of money. The initial outlay, but then for a 15 metre... For all intents and purposes, 15 metre fertiliser spreader and weeder. If you're doing weeds, it will weed as well. Um, so you're kind of getting a double whammy there. Weeder and fertiliser set up. And then no additional cost after that for your fertiliser. It's probably worth the initial outlay. Hmm. Well. If you see me using that operation soon, <laughs> you'll know I've tested it, and I'm happy with it, and it works. Well, it's got to be worth a try. So, let's go and get some of that lime out of our storage then. There's a car coming, pretty fast. They are a little bit crazy, aren't they? Okay, right, back to the farm. Let's sort this out. Okay, so it should be as simple as coming onto here, clicking L3, doing lime, and away we go. Right, how is that contract doing? Let's go across, check on that, 22% complete. Look at that sewing contract there. It would be potatoes, but 71 grand. But then to be fair, that is field two, <laughs> which is that one there. Can you imagine how long that would take? And how much seed you would need as well. I'm not going to need 8,000 litres. I'm not actually quite sure why I don't. Oh, never mind. And it's only actually the ends I need to do of this, don't I? I hope this unloads it back into there. I could have a problem. Um, yeah, it's the bits I redid. So the edge strips and the... Uh, Top and tail. Let's uh, knock that. Oh, I've not opened the slider, of course. Open the slider. Oh, there we go. Engage that because that runs off the wheel turning. 
Let's get going. Turn it on. And boom, away we go. Ah, oh, now that's not showing it as... Mm -hmm. Oh, deary me. Right, hang on. Check. Check, check, check. Oh, come on. Why has it not removed it? Does it need to be a new growth stage? If it goes into first growth stage, I'll have stuff sticking through. I should have limed it before. Oh, blimey, governor. Right, okay. Um... Right then, isn't it weird? I'm, not, I'm trying to things that you do kind of all the time. <laughs> you kind of take it for granted. You do things and think, "Oh yeah, I can do this, I can do that." And then you go to do it, it doesn't work, and then you start scratching your head, thinking, "Hang on a minute, I'm sure I've done that that way before." It's because the ground state hasn't changed, isn't it? Okie dokie, well, let's put this to one side. I mean, to be fair, the lime, if you leave it in here for too long, it will eat away at the metal and just, you know, fertiliser does the same thing. It will eat away at pipes and hoses and clips and all sorts of stuff. You have to be incredibly careful, but for the time being, let's just pop it there and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so... Now I am absolutely bereft of jobs. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. Uh, fertilising contract is continuing. Don't need to do anything with that. Sheep are producing wool pallets. They will stop at some point soon, but they're doing all right. Cows are okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to skip ahead. There's not a lot else I can do. I'm going to have to clean out feed areas. I don't want to start doing pigs yet. Um, I suppose what we could do is maybe stable a couple of horses, but again, I don't want to do it too much too soon. Um, the feed area here will need to be cleaned out at some point. But yeah, they're, they're, everything's okay. Oh no, water. I do need to put some water in, don't I? Otherwise we're going to get down to the bare minimum, which it looks like it's not far off now. So I'll need to do some water. I probably need to get a smaller water tank as well, because I've got the... Uh, the big old tanker, that's a big old thing to be moving backwards and forwards every time I need to top up water, so I guess that's the next purchase will be a smaller water tanker. Using the bigger ones for doing long haulage, but around the yard I only need a small one. So let's have a look and see, under our animals, there's obviously the Aquatrans, which is a bog standard, you know, it does its 7,300 litres. Uh, got the MKS. That's got a swivel axle front end, that'll do 8,000 litres. A bit more pricey though, that's the only downside. But if I use Jim's modded one, what's that one? 8,500 for 8,000 litres, that's a little bit cheaper. We've got the Lizard Homemade front IBC I've used a few times. That's just a milk tank, I got caught out with that before. That does water, but it's only 2,000 litres. But I suppose I'm using that on Geiselsberg at the moment. But if I go along to miscellaneous, if, if I use one of Jim's, there's the smaller one of Jim's, which again is the same as the one we've already got, but this will do everything. It will do fuel and air and, and all sorts, so I could just get one of those. It's a bit cheaper as well, 20 grand, and that just means we're doing these jobs around the yard. Yeah, you know what, let's get one, why not? Uh, leave it on that, main colour will live as it is, let's buy one of those. It's just all expense at the moment isn't it but we made the money in the first place so that's what it was for okay that does mean now i can fill up the water for the animals without having to get a truck and tanker out we'll do that uh yeah i mean at the end of the day what i'm going to do is um as soon as we get to a point where the grass is fully grown we're going to need to look at doing a lot of mowing we're going to, need to do some mowing some making hay hopefully keep a check on the weather we're going to make sure that the weather's going to be okay for drying because this isn't ready yet i don't think pretty sure it's not i don't like using this anymore because it costs money no it's still not fully grown yet but it's not wet it's only 18 18 degrees 18 percent 18 degrees 18 percent which is good um, okay, don't need to change the rider. Go and get the water tank. <laughs> Batters and falls to the shop today. I 
Gmail what <laughs> I am sitting here thinking I could get some pigs couldn't I when I did my testing I had 20 pigs and the, the birth rate was just through the roof I could get 10 just 10 to tick over couldn't I couldn't I <laughs> I'm trying to convince myself now we are expanding a bit too quickly I think it's because they're a lot cheaper to buy now as well than the standard game so you kind of think well you know what why not because it's a crazy idea and I haven't got any crops to feed them which means I have to go and buy pig food and that's going to get expensive yeah hold off right water tank has been purchased money has gone down again I've had an idea something I'm going to try um not yet I'm just going to do the water first but I don't want slurry, don't want milk. I want water. The fact I put some in storage already really helped. And like I say, that was a surplus when I was going down and doing the greenhouses and um, filling them with water and manure. Every time I had water spare, I just bought it up here and stuck it in that tank. I could have gone and sold it, but I just thought, you know, it made more sense. I just put it in there. That way I've got some on hand. I have placed a standpipe, so you can use a standpipe or the water. I could use a standpipe with the tanker and fill my storage tank. You know, either way around, it really doesn't matter. Not all maps have a storage tank in place for water. Jim's very good at putting things like that in, so it just made sense. So what I'll do now is fill this up again. Let's say the water pump will stop it running out. I'm just saying that this is not filling up, is it? <laughs> I probably would have been better off using the big one. I didn't think it was going to use this much. Oh dear. Okay, well... No, not that one. That one. Let's have a look. What are we looking at? Yeah, that didn't even touch the sides, did it? I'm going to need more water. Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the tanker would have been a better option. Have I just wasted 10 grand? I don't own it. Do I own any of this? Hang on a mo. Hang on a moment. No, I don't. Oh. Flibbity gibbets. Never mind. How much is this bit here? That's a ridiculous amount of money. Filled four, 31 grand. And that's not grass. But the one next door... Field 3 is for 53 grand. Because so I did say I'm going to need some more grass. If I'm going to do silage and I'm going to do hay. Yeah, maybe we could buy that at a later date. Well, we've got money. Anyway, yes, my, my plan. Well, I'm going to just go and get some water and just put some more in for the sheep. My kind of daily chores especially once you're doing animals and with seasons on now you've got to be uh it's, it's daily upkeep you can't be leaving them because you you just can't take the chance you know as they put on weight they'll consume more you know there there are so many variables now that you know you just you just can't leave them you, you can't leave them that whole kind of it's all right they're good for 10 days not anymore you just can't take that chance so uh, right i'm gonna fill up the sheep and like I say, I've got an idea of something. It's not... It's not right. <laughs> but it's okay. As someone very famous once said, apparently. I'm back at the farm. I have just bought two new pieces of equipment. My money has gone down, but this is an investment in the future of the farm. Um, we are going to need mowers, we are going to do mowing, we can do various different jobs and things with this. Now, I have gone uh, with the Pottinger Nova Cats, um, but these are the modded ones. These modded ones, you can do swath dropping. There's this little thing uh, just there, which you can swing down onto the narrow end, that sickle-looking thing there. That goes down to the narrow end, and you can do swath dropping with these. Uh, why didn't I go for the um, class versions? Um, slot count, price, 
don't do swath drop in the same as these ones do. Uh, I could have also gone for, uh, if we have a look in here. Um, so these are the standard pot engine over cats. There's another good reason why I went for these, because that one there has got a three point link front and rear, so you can put it on the back, but you can also put it as a three mower setup which at some point I may well do. Uh, the class ones are a little bit more pricey, they do cost a little bit more. Uh, slot count for both of those were coming at 23. Uh, slot count for both of these, the modded ones, comes in at 16. They're 8 each. Um, but we have also got the Novacat A10CF which I downloaded, which is a 10 meter. Now, as well, if you look at the difference between this, that's a 10 meter, which is fantastic. The uh, class Disco 1100C is also a 10 meter. That's 46 grand. That's 62 grand on its own. So that's another reason why I didn't go for that. This is 20 grand cheaper. It only does 8.4 meters rather than 10, but you know what? It doesn't matter. That's absolutely fine. What I'm about to do now is not the done thing. This is one of those strange witchcraft and wizardry things. What I'm gonna do is force a fertilization state. When I say I'm gonna do the fertilizing, but at the moment, the ground, I'm actually I'm gonna force a ground state. The ground state won't allow me to lime, and I've tried off screen and it won't let me do it. I've tried a couple of things on a test map and it won't let me. So I may have lost my lime window, but what I can do is force a ground state change, which will then allow me to fertilize this again. Now I could have fertilized when I seeded. I could have done seed and fertilizer at the same time, which I don't often do, but using the, um, Scaraflex, which I'm using for the contract at the moment, I can get a fertilizing state for free because um, that's a weeder fertilizer esque type of piece of kit. So, what I'm going to do is open this up and we'll go to the back one, open that up. I've got to be careful when I turn these on and be careful not to go over the lines on the edges from your colouring in days because otherwise I'm going to start mowing grass, which I don't want to do, and I've got to be quite careful here. I don't want to start cutting grass. Oh, I need to be fair, it will rot away in no time, but what I'll do is turn the front one on. No, that's not the front one. Let's turn the front one on, drop it down, and edge forwards. Let's turn the rear ones on, drop them down, and what you should see as I go over is the colour will change from dark to light, like so. I'm forcing a ground state change by going over this with the mowers. Now, the mowers can be used for this. Oh, I knew I'd catch some. Move over a little bit. Um, they can be used like this. Um, I think I did way back when the first mower mod, or was it the uh, the Krona M Big M four fifty. I'm probably forgetting the number. Um, I, I kind of showed this, but if you look behind me now, I've changed the ground state. It's gone light again which means I can run over this with a fertilizer spreader again or the, the Scaraflex and get another fertilizing state before I even get any crops through the ground. Now, like I say, I, I could have and should have... Let's turn it off. No. Turn that back on. Turn that off. I could have and should have probably fertilized at the same time as doing the seeding. Of course I should have. Um, I didn't and that was my choice to do but I just thought I'd you know, kind of show you this as an option you can do it obviously as the crops start to come through the ground and you're at a point where you, if you've got crop destruction on you've got to be careful you don't want to destroy your crops while you're doing this kind of thing this is sort of but anyway yes so what I'm going to do I'm just going to force this issue that grass will rot it will disappear in no time um, I'm going to go over the field and force this change then once the Scaraflex is finished doing its contract, and it's not far off its contract end actually, we are looking at, nine, oh, 99% complete. Oh, fantastic, that'll be done in a minute. That'll be another 11 grand back in the bank. Um, I can bring it over here, and we can do another fertilizing state. So, like I say, I just thought I'd show it. It's, it's not, you know, it is witchcraft, but <laughs> I'll, Oh, well, never mind. Like I say, not the end of the world. <laughs> Once I've got the outside edge done, I'll be all right. Turn that back on again. I 
and I shall continue. Just very quickly, over field 16, we have finished. The tractor and the scar effects are looking an absolute mess. I'm going to complete that contract and collect. We've just had one come up on field one for 17 grand. Again, it's going to take a while because field one's a big field, but I'm going to accept the contract. I can leave that running. Um, this is probably going to need some... Uh, some TLC, actually. Let's look in the garage at our Scaraflex and what's it looking at? Uh, it's not saying requires maintenance yet, but it might well do. I'm going to whisk this back down to field six. Uh, we'll use it on there first and then I can go up the hill to field one and I'll get this chugging away on that contract for number 17 grand. Um, two or three contracts like that and I'll have paid for my mowers. You know, it's I'll say, yeah, maybe not, <laughs> maybe not two or three, but maybe a few more. Like, if I pick up a transport contract, um, or like I say, I could do any of the other, you know, the plethora of jobs that are available. But again, as I said before, you don't have to do them. You know, you don't have to do fuel runs, water runs, you don't have to do air, you don't have to do the greenhouses, you don't have to do any of it. You can just play a map just for the map. You don't have to, you know, use any of the stuff that's on it. Um, if you don't want to, it's entirely your choice. I'm going to whiz down. Might go on a helicopter ride at some point, actually. I haven't done that since FS17, so maybe do that. Right then, while I'm continuing to m mow my field, the Scaraflex, as you can see over there, is now doing its thing and I'm getting another fertiliser state. So that will put me up to two, and then what I can do is once the crop starts to grow, I can stick another one on, because the ground state will change again. Um, there are, I, I've had a few comments, people asking now about fertilising and how do I do it and when's the best time to do it. In all honesty, there are so many different ways of fertilising fields, you know, that you can be using with chemical fertilizers liquid fertilizers you can well that is, that is a chemical fertilizer but you know manure you can use slurry you can use digestate you can use the weeder like that that's got a fertilizing option on it although it's not technically fertilizing you can do it with cedars without cedars you can do it before you put crops in the ground you can do it before you plow after you plow you know the only difference really is that between the base game and seasons is that you've got two fertilising states in the base game, three on seasons. That's really the only, you know, as far as, did I just turn one off? Why was that not? Oh, I lifted it up, that's jolly hell. Um, that's really the only big difference with regard to the fertilising options. Um, I'm, I'm puzzled about the lime situation at the moment, but it may well be I've just kind of missed the opportunity to put lime down. I'm not sure whether with seasons it maybe won't let you put lime down once there are crops in the ground. Possibly, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, that's a bit of an odd one. I haven't really encountered that before. But yeah, so we, we're getting on. If we have a look on the uh, on the map, and we go across to our soil composition, we are now on the dark one. Some patches now where it goes over the end where it's already on the second one. That's going to give me my third state at the end, but only a little bit and then I say one more state and that one's good to go that'll be kind of fully ready whereas a lot of my other fields I've got aren't because they require various different things when that one gets to its next growth stage I'll be able to put some more fertilizer on that one field 38 which is all good plus I want to do that orchard don't I the uh, little orchardy bit we'll get onto that too so with that with now a little bit of witchcraft and wizardry we'll um we shall end there for this episode I need to find yeah, we'll probably skip ahead. I'll probably see you in late spring, I guess, because I'm just, I, I really don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of today. Um, I say I could speed up time a little bit, but then, you know, I don't want to change the game length. You can have problems. Some people are doing it and not having problems. You can have issues if you start fiddling around with the game days while you're in the middle of doing whatever you're doing. But we now have mowers, so when we do get to the point, I mean, I can mow now. Um, as you can see, it is cutting the grass, but the grass isn't fully grown yet. I'd rather do it where it's fully grown and get a better yield off my grass than doing it now and kind of wasting the opportunity to get maximum out of it. Um, but yeah, we're good to go. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, 
give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free if you want to share this video please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>